Hello, hello, YouTube. Chash text back with another great tutorial, and today's tutorial is about how to fix the system cannot find the file specified error. So, if you are facing this problem, you are on the right place, and on this video, we are going to see four solutions. So, try to check each of them. One of them may give you a solution to your problem. So, let's start from solution number one. Solution number one in this video will be related with Windows update. So, if your Windows are outdated, you may be vulnerable to such problem so click here the search icon to find the windows update type here windows update sorry this one windows update here the windows update so open it so after the windows update open then you will find here check for update option so select here check for updates and wait until the checking process will be completed under the checking process you may find a, a file which would help you to update your uh, windows operating system so download that file and after the download completed then install it and restart your computer in my case the windows is up to date so no need of uh, uh, installing and restarting my computer but if you find such things install them and restart your computer and after that, check whether the problem is solved or not. If the problem is still pushing, then the second solution will be troubleshooting. So in order to do that, again, go here, click the search icon, and type here troubleshoot. Here, the troubleshoot setting, then open it. So after the troubleshooting open, you'll find here additional troubleshooter. So select that. And scroll down and find for Windows update. Here I found the Windows update. So select that and click run the troubleshooter until the detecting problem will be completed. Here checking uh, if there is related with your Windows update failure. So here in my case, checking for update issues are detected and it will fix your problem and the troubleshoot has also completed. It's asking a question. So select here, yes, and close the troubleshooter and close the window and restart your computer and check whether the problem is solved or not. If again the problem is still continuing, then the third solution will be deleting files under the software distribution. In order to do that, go here, open your uh, Windows Explorer or File Explorer. So after that, Find for this PC and open your operating system where your operating system installed. In my case, it's local disk C. Then open it, then go here, Windows, select the Windows, find for software distribution. So scroll down and find for software distribution, which is here the software distribution section, then open it. Then after that, control A and delete. All the files by confirming continue it's saying some of the files cannot be deleted then cancel and close your software distribution and if the problem is still continuing that the final solution for this video will be running a system checking using a CMD so in order to do that again go here the button click the search icon and type here CMD here the command prompt then right click on it and select run as administrator and select yes then type here sfc space slash scan now then press enter the verification will be completed and it will help you to solve a, a failure related with your system so wait until the checking process will be completed. The system checking completed and Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. So in my case, there is no error. In your case, if you find error, then just close the CMD and restart your computer. So after the restart, so this is all about for today's video. And if today's video is helpful, please like and subscribe and share to your friends. Thank you for watching.